Hello everyone and welcome back to the Foggy Nelson Career Mode series. I'm your host Husker Eurocat and in this episode you'll see second round coverage of the World Golf Championships Bridgestone Invitational here at Firestone Country Club in Akron, Ohio. In yesterday's round, Foggy couldn't judge the distance of anything to save his life. In the rough, bunkers, over the greens, missed putts, and oh yeah, on the cart path on number four. It was all the front nine, because on the back, he played a completely different round. A hot lob wedge gave him his start at number 10 with a chip in birdie, and he followed that up with three more birdies and an eagle on the par 5 16th hole, all to end up at two under par for his round and tied for 31st place after 18 holes. Today is a wet one out there with light rain in the forecast throughout the entire broadcast. Let's hope that Foggy fares better today than yesterday. He's tied for 72nd place now, and it'll take a good round to ensure that he makes it into the weekend. Ryan Moore is setting the pace at 3 under through 5 holes, so Foggy definitely has work to do. He had a hard time adjusting to these very wet greens during his practice session, so let's see if he plays them right or not. His tee time is upon us, so let's join him on the first tee as he starts his round. I want to thank you for joining me for coverage of the WGC Bridgestone Invitational, and I'll talk to you after the round. This should be in perfect shape. This is looking really, really good. Makes his par. That's the kind of shot that sends a definite message to your opponent. there to sink that birdie putt. Whoa, get out the stopwatch. This isn't coming down for a while. All right, can we get a hang time on this one? That's up there forever. Look at that bird. Nicely done. Whoa, get out the stopwatch. This isn't coming down for a while. All right, can we get a hang time on this one? That's up there forever.
That's to remain at four under. Not good at all. <laughs> Struggles to double bow. He's got all of that one. Just crushed down the fairway. This looks like it will find the right side of the green. That ball is crushed. Time to turn it around after the bogey there. What a drive! Look at how long this is. Tough break, and I think it's heading for the rough.
Next part. I think he's going to like the result here. He's all over this one. This is going to fly over the green. further back. He's really crushed this one. Center cut. This is carrying a lot of speed. A solid call. What a drive! Whoa, I wish I could hit it half that distance and fit into those pants. That's just transmemberfied. Welcome back, everyone. Foggy kind of had a good hole, bad hole thing going on 
throughout the front nine with a double bogey at number five and a single at number eight, but was able to make up for it shooting four birdies to go out in one under 34. Then, like yesterday, he really got going on the back. Six birdies along with a lone bogey at number 13, he carded a 30 coming back in. I think he's finding kind of likes the back nine. He told the cameraman as he passed by, I wish the front nine was as nice to play as the back is. The last two rounds, it was like watching a light bulb turn on after he got to the 10th tee. What a change, folks. That landed him on the first page of the leaderboard, tied for sixth place at eight under par, just three shots off the 36-hole lead by Scott Piercy and Billy Haas of 11 under par. Some notable names have missed the cut this week here at Firestone like Jordan Spieth, Dustin Johnson, and Rory McIlroy. So even the great players have a down week now and again. That brings us to Foggy's shot of the day. That actually came on the front nine where he didn't play so well. But at the par 3 seventh, playing 226 yards today, Foggy takes a four iron and with a helping breeze makes solid contact with the ball, lands it short of the cup where it rolled to within five feet. From there with a slight uphill and right to left breaking putt, he finishes off the hole with a birdie two. Remember that if you enjoyed this video, leave a like so that others can enjoy it as well. And if you would like to be notified when there is a new one, subscribe by clicking on my icon at the end of the video. Be with me in my next episode when I'll have third round coverage of the WGC Bridgestone Invitational. Tomorrow's round is looking to be wet one as well. Rain may head out by the time we go on the air, but the course is still going to be soggy for Foggy. Can he make a charge on moving day to try to take the lead? Tune in and find out. Thank you for joining me for second round coverage and until I see you right back here at Firestone Country Club for the third round of the WGC Bridgestone Invitational, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day everyone.